All right, so let's let's stick with Michigan here. This is one that I actually think could help improve them and help the other team as well. So, or is Jordan dropping in the chat? Uh, okay, never mind. So, I like JJ McCarthy. I have a Heisman ticket on JJ McCarthy. But if you look at this in the two games against good defenses that Michigan's played so far, his yards per attempt numbers have not been very good, and I think he is still a very high level prospect. But I'm not really sure he's somebody who can win you a national title right now. Meanwhile, Stanford is without all four of its, or four of its five starting offensive linemen. It's down a receiver. It's down Emmett Smith's kid, EJ Smith. Tanner McKee is doing this basically all by himself and still, uh, in some metrics, has better numbers than J.J. McCarthy. He doesn't get to play the lead nearly as much. And Harbaugh's pretty good with pocket passers. I think McKee is a better passer than McCarthy right now and it's clear to me that Michigan has not had much of a step back on the defensive side of the football their running game is awesome they're just not smooth in the passing game right now McCarthy's late on stuff he's not like hitting guys in stride to allow for yards after the catch this would be a ballsy move because they're super high on McCarthy obviously as as we are as well but if you think you got a shot to go for it and win this year because Bama looks a little bit down you know Georgia doesn't look quite as good as they did last year if you think you can go push around Ohio State and you need somebody to get you over the top, I think it's something you should maybe consider. Thoughts, committee? No. <clears throat> no, I'm out. I'd rather have McCarthy. I don't I don't think McKee's that good, to be honest with you. I don't think he's bad. But I mean, if you go like you mentioned, McCarthy struggled against good defense as well. Against USC, McKee threw one touchdown, two interceptions, averaged six point three per attempt. Against Oregon, he averaged five yards per attempt. Last week against Notre Dame, he averaged 7.6 yards per. I mean, it's just, it's not like he's putting up any different kind of numbers than McCarthy. And I think, honestly, again, it's kind of going back to my comments in Drake May. I, I don't always think that it's the quarterback in Michigan system that is the problem. I just think that they are very much a run heavy team right now and they're winning with it. And that's just kind of what they're going to go with. What do you think, Danny? I would tend to agree. I don't, JJ McCarthy hasn't been the, like explosive playmaker in the past game that I think I thought he was going to be. But I don't know if that's what Harbaugh is even looking for. I think he just wanted a little more athleticism, a little bit more upside, and I think he's getting it. You know, I don't, I don't, But I do think like if Michigan, when they get to Ohio State, you're going to have to have some of that explosive pass game. But I don't know if Tanner McKee is the guy that would bring it to you. That's why I kind of like the Drake May idea. Like that's, I had some trades for Drake May. I didn't know they were off the table. I just think he's untradeable because, like, like if you're Mac Brown, you trade Drake May, your career's over. Everybody's right? like, "Oh, I got it, I got a trade." But you I mean, go- like, how long is Mac going to coach? There's no way you trade away a guy that, if he keeps on this pace, could be the number one overall pick. Unless you think you're going to become the AD or something like that and set yourself. Oh, that's kind of why I threw out the crazy get to the Big Ten. I, I couldn't figure out a trade for for uh, for Drake that made sense for North Carolina like long term. And Harbaugh, his family's huge Tar Heels. Harbaugh loves McCarthy. Yeah. Also, yeah, I mean, clearly to unseat the guy that got you, you know, past Ohio State and brought you to the playoffs and to say, see ya. Even though I think we all saw the writing on the wall and thought it was probably the right move. I mean, he clearly likes him. They had uh, Charles Woodson talking to Jim Harbaugh before the Penn State game. And Jim Harbaugh starts explaining. It's like, well, what, what do you like about him? Why do you say that he reminds you of a young Jimmy Harbaugh? He's like, well, you know, he steps back. Then he sprints over here, doesn't wow. see anything. He spins around, sprints over here. And as he's describing it, they went back for the piece and they showed exact like side by side of McCarthy scrambling around and Harbaugh scrambling around. I mean, it's I think I think Harbaugh does see a little bit of young Jimmy in uh, in JJ. I, d- I don't think that he would want to part ways with uh, with the future of the quarterback position at, at Michigan. Also, I understand like the difference of personnel, but McCarthy passing efficiency way higher than McKee's completion rate way higher than McKee's yards per attempt, a full yard higher Uh, yards per drop back, nearly a yard and a half higher air yards, nearly a yard and a half higher. It's just it's McCarthy's better than McKee. I I don't think he is, but I I understand the stats say I just think that Stanford's roster is is garbage. I mean, they're down for their five starters on the offensive line. They have nothing at receiver. I think it's one of the worst rosters in the power five. I think you put McCarthy there and you swap him. I, I think I think McKees would have much better numbers in, in, in Michigan's offense than McCarthy does personally. But I mean, we'll see it. Also, like if you look at McCarthy's stuff, this is one of the reasons why I proposed this. 
he has such big numbers in those first three games. We were talking like 14, 18 yards per attempt type stuff. But he's under seven in two of their four power five games already. And when they bog down in the red zone, a lot of that I think is him not being on time with some of his throws. So we'll see when they when they play some better teams. I I, I get the veto though. Jordan thought this would be vetoed too, and he, he was right. 